Hello everyone, Dusty Eastman here. Um, sleep deprived at what time is it? 1:46 a.m. Yes, um, I am here at 1:46 a.m. to get, deliver it to you guys. Um, a new loose album review, and I know I haven't posted in a while. It's been like two weeks. Um, and that's because I haven't really felt like reviewing anything. And um, I was also in New York, so um, you know, I was just kind of busy. And, um, I, at least I did put out that Adele review a couple weeks back, um, when I was in New York. And, um, that was also a loose review, and I just want to do a loose review for this one because I feel like it just, um, I don't really want to sit here and edit, um, an ARCA review. Um, and I just, man, I'm kind of lazy right now, you know. Um, school, um, is just coming down to a close, um, for winter break. And, um, I just, um, you know, I just, I just, I'm dealing with a lot of stress right now. I'm in a lot of stress, and I don't want to edit a whole video. I just want to do one, one whole recording, or just babble on about this album that you guys probably don't even um, care about me talking about. Me talking about. You guys probably care about the song, um, and that's why I'm reviewing it. And also, I really liked it. And I'm not just reviewing, um, any new album. By the way, I'm reviewing Arca's Kick 3. Um, I'm just, I'm not just reviewing every single album in the Kick series. No, I'm reviewing three because it's easily my favorite. I mean, the other three that came out recently, um, two, two is decent. Two is decent. Um, and then the rest were kind of just, um, you know, not, not as good. Um, but this one, oof. Arca Kick 3. Oof. I love this one. I love this one so much. Um, so... I don't want to get caught by my parents at, like, um, 1.48 a.m. That would be awful. That would be absolutely horrendous. Humiliating. Um, but, uh, first of all, um, I think this is a really, really ambitious, um, album cycle by Arca. Um, Kick One was pretty good. Um, Arca has never really just, you know, like, piqued my interest. I mean, her self-titled, um, is pretty damn good. That one, that one's pretty good. Um, but anything else, not really. But Kick, Kick One was pretty decent. And, um, uh, coming back to these, um, this album cycle is really, 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 um, admirable. Um, really, really cool. Um, I want to see more of this from different artists, um, where you release multiple albums at a time. Um, and even if they're not all great, I still really respect this. Um, so first of all, we got the cut, um, the first cut being Bruja, which is an absolutely insane song. Um, loved it. It had some great vocals and really hair-raising sounds. I also love the, like, the Spanish spoken parts. I just... I just, I, I thought that, I thought that was really cool, as someone who speaks Spanish, um, and Incendio, um, pretty much the same things I had to say about the previous, I mean, another really, really great track, um, and then there's Moro, which is another one of my favorites, um, it has an insane beat on it, and insane vocals, just insane everything, this album is, um, really, really crazy, and then there's, a uh, Fieta, which is a very visceral experience in the best way, I love the synths, the drum patterns, I love the vibe it creates, I mean, just, um, just great, um, and then there's Skull Queen, which is a dope IDM track, um, and it's one of the best on the album, I mean, just listen to it, uh, please, um, it sounds almost exactly like something I'd hear on, like, an Aphex Twin record, um, which is a compliment, because I really like Aphex Twin, obviously. Um, I also love the weird synthesized vocals, too. I mean, just the the vocals on this album are, are all great, because Arca is a very, very creative person. I mean, just, she really knows what to do. Um, and she just, um, she's the leader of her own album. Um, which I feel like this, this album cycle really, you know, personifies that she's the leader. She's gonna release four albums in one day. Um... And then there's Electro Rex, which is another great and weird ass song. I just I I don't like how it starts and stops um extremely abruptly, but um I mean this is still a great great cut. There are really no bad songs on the sound, none that I would really really call bad. I mean, Ripples is just another uh super tasteful track. I mean the vocals here are like if a nightmare fuel video on YouTube uh, went to a rave, rave and got yossified, and I mean, 
this is just, uh, this is just insane stuff. And then there's Rubberneck, um, and is, um, man, Rubberneck, 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 Rubberneck is just another great track. Um, I really just want you to listen to this album for yourself since me explaining it doesn't really do it justice. I'm sorry, I do not want to get caught by my parents. This is such a, this is such a sloppy way to record my video, Jesus. Um, but yeah, me explaining it doesn't really do it justice. It's something that you really gotta listen and experience for yourself. It's only 35 minutes to sound, so go ahead, do it. Um, and then there's Senorita. And, um, I've run out of words to describe this song, but Senorita is one of my favorite cuts without question. The beat is really, really tasteful. And, um, yeah, I just love it. Um, and then My 2 has, um, any of the best melody on this whole album, despite being, um, quite plain at times. I just, I really, really love this one. And then the last two are, um, pretty simple to understand. Um, Intimate Flesh is, um, just as enjoy, uh, is just undeniable, and Joya is just a beautiful track. Um, so this ambitious kick, um, arc of album cycle has given way to mostly just decent albums, not really anything super interesting, but Kick 3, oof, is its peak. Um, I just feel like it's such an incredible listen, and not much in the way of memorability, but it's super duper consistent, and Orca really hit the nail on the head with this one in terms of intensity and all around just craziness. Um, also, this might just be, like, the best album by a trans musician in, like, a while. Best album released in a while. Maybe, probably since 2018's um, Oil of Every Pearls and Insides by Sophie. Rest in peace. Um, I still like that album better. I just feel like it has more variety. But this one, this one's probably the, the only one that I can compare it to best. Um, Sophie's Oil of Every Pearls and Insides. But... This one, man, this one is just, this one's crazy, this one's insane, this one's just all around amazing, um, definitely gonna end up on my favorites of the year list, yeah, um, I'm feeling like a, a light nine on this one, just insane, and, uh, that's about it, guys, sorry that this is so candid, sorry that this is, sorry that I didn't want to edit, sorry that I'm lazy, alright, but, um, I just feel like I have to put this out right now. Um, and, um, yeah, that's about it. So, um, see ya. Bye.